Hello everyone, you join us today on New Street in the village of Cheddington, a perfect and tranquil area situated on the Buckinghamshire and Bedfordshire borders. It has a train station with a direct route into London Euston, but of course, more importantly with village life, you have a green just down the road, a couple of pubs and perfect walks nearby. What we're going to take a look at today is this stunning three bedroom house that you see behind me, um, refurbished to a really high standard throughout with a surprise in the garden. As you can see, plenty of driveway first of all, um, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's go inside and see what it's all about. And here we are. First thing I want to point out is the entrance porch behind me. Brilliant to ensure that you're not walking straight into the property as such. You have that separation from outdoors to inside. Also a perfect place to kick off shoes, take off your coats and get the dogs ready for the walk. Now, this is a huge living room obviously massive windows. What the current owners have actually had done is convert the previous garage. Um, you know, a lot of people do that anyway, but to ensure that this room is now a huge, big, wide space, I think from wall to wall, it's around about 20 feet. Um, of course, the way that they've got it configured is just a living room, but if you wanted to have a dining table in here or something like that, it's perfectly manageable. To the rear of the property, we have the kitchen diner, Again, in a stunning condition, everything in the house bar the bricks has been replaced and refurbished. Um, but as I mentioned in the living room, you can fit a kitchen, a uh, dining table in the kitchen, and also the units are all spick and span. Integrated appliances such as fridge freeze on the left hand side, dishwasher to the right, and of course allows you to look over the rear garden. Now any good quality kitchen of this size could house every appliance and everything that you need, but there's nothing better than having a utility room, like I said, to keep it all separate. This was the last part of the garage to be used, so rather than doing the, the full length, they decided to ensure that they could put all this somewhere else and shut the door on it, but they don't need it. Now following back through, we'll take a look at the three double bedrooms upstairs and a lovely bathroom. Now we're upstairs, the first thing you'll notice is how big the landing is. Uh, and as I mentioned downstairs, the bedrooms themselves aren't small, nor is the bathroom. So to have this all as a nice reception area coming to the top of the stairs, rather than being left and right into the rooms, is a lovely touch. The first bedroom that we'll come into is the middle bedroom, bedroom number two. Of course, as you can see, perfectly laid out to be a double bedroom for children, guests. Uh, you could probably get bunk beds in here, whatever you wanted as well. Um, one of the unique features about this property is that you have built-in cupboards in all the rooms. So any kind of storage that you're a bit wary of not being able to, to house bits and pieces in is kind of eliminated here. And of course, nice to have two windows as well. Back out onto the landing, I'll take you into the smallest bedroom, which is by no means small. Again, perfect for you know, child's bedroom, toddler, uh, dressing room, office, uh, whatever you want it to be. Um, but lovely amount of light coming in. It's not the best day outside, but there's no lights on in here. Um, and I think that just emphasizes what's around you. And of course, built-in cupboard, as I said. To the rear of the property, we have a stunning bathroom, four piece suite with a lovely big bath. Kind of reminds me of a hotel suite. Huge corner shower, and everything is just nice and in keeping with the rest of the of the property in terms of condition and quality. Final room upstairs is our master bedroom. Again, typical master bedroom of what it's got in here is exactly what you'd need: big bed, bedside tables, dressers, wardrobe, whatever you need. But of course, like I said, another built-in cupboard there. Now this overlooks the rear garden, which has my favorite part of the property, um, that great big outhouse, which we'll just go take a look and show you properly. Now in the garden, first of all, you can see lovely patio area. Um, I'm sure in a few months time, this is gonna be used quite a lot by the new owners. Um, perfect to sit, have a barbecue, couple of drinks in the evening and just relax. But as you can see, it's a very good size anyway. The age of the house kind of lends itself to have a big plot. Um, I think the elephant in, in the room is what we mentioned upstairs was the outhouse and without further delay, let's go take a proper look at, at what it is. So rather than actually having an extension on the back of the house, if we just spin around, you can see that next door on the left hand side as we look back, they've got a conservatory and on the right hand side they've got an extension which is probably 
kitchen or an additional room, um, which you can obviously still do here. The potential is there for that to be done. But to have this at the back of the garden and for how it could be used is a massive, massive plus. So measuring around about 18 by 13 feet it's perfectly big enough for anything. I mean, it's split into a couple of different areas at the moment. As you can see, it can be perfect for a home gym, home office, given the way that the world is at the moment, or just kind of, you know, a man cave, something like that. Very, very versatile. I've also been to properties before where they've had this kind of structure to use as a home business, um, salons, nails, anything like that, really. But I think having this away from the property allows you to still have as we mentioned potential to extend but also something that has already been put here in place and then we have it in the heart of the village of Cheddington a lovely family home ready to move into as you can see with potential still on offer to do what you want if you like what you've seen so far I can guarantee you that when you come and take a look in person it's going to take even more boxes